Imagine writing a letter, sealing it in a bottle and tossing it into the ocean, hoping someone someday will find it. That's what humanity did with Voyager 2. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 is more than a spacecraft, it's a piece of us, a testament to our curiosity and our urge to reach beyond Earth. For decades, it's been our eyes and ears in the far reaches of the solar system, sending back images that transformed our understanding of the universe. But Voyager 2 didn't stop at the planets. It kept going, pushing into the unknown between the stars. Today, as we close out 2025, it continues its silent journey through interstellar space. Every faint signal it sends is a precious gift, a whisper from a place no human has ever been. These signals traveling nearly a day at light speed connect us to the cosmos. Voyager 2 represents our courage, intelligence, and hope. As we look up at the night sky, we remember our ambassador out there, carrying a golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds and images. Even if it's never found, its journey inspires us to keep exploring and asking questions. Voyager 2's story is our story, a small world with big dreams, reaching for the stars. Its greatest adventures may have only just begun. It's a reminder that our desire to explore is endless. Voyager 2 is proof that even the smallest voice can echo across the universe. And, as long as it sails on, so does our hope. Voyager 2's story began with a rare planetary alignment in the 1970s. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up, allowing a spacecraft to slingshot from one to the next, a grand tour only possible every 176 years. Voyager 2 was built for this cosmic billiards game, tasked with revealing the secrets of the giant planets. It flew past Jupiter in 1979, capturing storms and volcanoes on Io. Using Jupiter's gravity, it sped to Saturn, unveiling the planet's intricate rings in 1981. Then, it ventured farther than any spacecraft before, reaching Uranus in 1986 and showing us its tilted, icy world and faint rings. In 1989, Voyager 2 arrived at Neptune, discovering the fastest winds in the solar system and the mysterious, great, dark spot. The Grand Tour was complete but Voyager 2 was still healthy. NASA gave it a new mission to journey beyond the planets toward the edge of the solar system. Its destination became the boundary where our sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. Voyager 2 had rewritten the textbooks, revealing the outer planets as dynamic complex worlds, but its greatest journey was just beginning. It was now headed for the unknown. The mission was no longer about planets, it was about the edge of everything we know. Voyager 2 was ready to cross into the great beyond. After Neptune, Voyager 2 sailed into the solar system's outermost frontier, the heliosphere, a vast bubble blown by our sun. Inside the solar wind shields us from the galaxy's harshest forces. Scientists long wondered, where does this bubble end? Voyager 2 was sent to find out. As it traveled farther, it detected the solar wind slowing, approaching the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the sun's influence fades. Beyond that line lies interstellar space, the realm between stars, filled with ancient gas, dust, and cosmic rays. In November 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, its instruments recorded a sharp drop in solar particles and a surge in galactic cosmic rays. It had officially left home, becoming only the second human-made object to enter interstellar space. Now, it was sampling the galaxy directly, a monumental achievement. Voyager 2 became our first true interstellar probe. It was no longer just exploring planets, it was studying the very fabric of our galaxy. The questions it could answer were bigger than ever. Voyager 2 was now a pioneer in the cosmic ocean. Interstellar space isn't empty, it's filled with tiny ancient grains of dust from dying stars and supernovas. Voyager 2, speeding at over 34,000 miles per hour, faces a relentless barrage of these microscopic particles. Each impact is like a tiny bullet, creating miniature explosions on the spacecraft's surface. Over time, this cosmic sandblasting erodes its protective layers and threatens its instruments. The high-gain antenna, Voyager's lifeline to Earth, is especially vulnerable. While a single dust hit is rarely catastrophic, the cumulative effect is a constant threat. Scientists estimate thousands of micro-collisions each year. The greatest danger is a collision with a larger grain, rare, but potentially devastating. Voyager 2 can't repair itself, it can only endure. 
As it ventures deeper, the density of dust may change, bringing new risks. It's navigating an invisible minefield that stretches for light years. Every day, it survives against the odds. Its journey is a testament to resilience in the face of the unknown. Voyager 2 presses on, battered, but unbroken. For nearly 50 years, Voyager 2's path was a masterpiece of precision, but in late 2025, scientists noticed a tiny, unexpected change in its trajectory. At first it seemed like a glitch, but the data was real. Voyager 2 had been nudged by the interstellar medium itself. It had passed through a denser region of dust, and millions of micro-collisions acted like a cosmic gust of wind, gently pushing the spacecraft. This was the first time we'd seen the interstellar medium physically alter a spacecraft's course. The change was minuscule, just a few feet over millions of miles, but it was profound. The space between stars isn't passive, it's an active, physical environment. This discovery excited and challenged scientists. Voyager 2's future path is now less certain, shaped not just by gravity, but by the galaxy itself. Each new cloud of dust could nudge it further, slowly rewriting its journey. The cosmos is no longer just a backdrop, it's an active participant. Voyager 2 is now being steered in part by the galaxy, its story is being written by the stars themselves. The universe is no longer just something we explore, it's something that shapes us in return. Communicating with Voyager 2 is a technical marvel, 13 billion miles away, its signal is fainter than a whisper. NASA's deep space network, giant antennas in California, Spain and Australia, listens for its call. Only the massive dish in Canberra, Australia, can send commands to Voyager 2. Every message takes over 21 hours to reach the spacecraft, and another 21 hours for a reply. The team at JPL must plan every command with care and patience. In 2025, a crisis with Voyager 1's thrusters reminded everyone how fragile these connections are. The Voyager team are cosmic mechanics, solving problems from billions of miles away. They track every signal, monitoring Voyager 2's health and course with meticulous precision. Every day they fight to keep humanity's farthest explorer alive. Voyager 2's data from interstellar space is a treasure for humanity. It gives us our first direct look at the environment our solar system travels through. By measuring cosmic rays and magnetic fields, we learn how our sun's protective bubble shields us and what lies beyond. This knowledge is vital for future deep space missions and for understanding our place in the galaxy. Voyager 2's discoveries inspire new generations of scientists and dreamers. Its journey reminds us that we are part of something much bigger. All its data is shared with the world helping us piece together the story of our galaxy. Voyager 2 is not just exploring space, it's helping us understand our origins. Its science is a gift to everyone on Earth. And its echoes will shape our future among the stars. Long after its power fades, Voyager 2 will drift through the Milky Way for millions of years. It will outlast every mountain and monument on Earth, a silent ambassador of our civilization. Attached to its side is the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, images, and greetings. The odds of it being found are tiny, but that was never the point. The golden record was a message of hope, unity, and curiosity, meant as much for us as for any alien. Creating it made us reflect on what it means to be human. Today, Voyager 2 endures as a symbol of inspiration and audacity. It reminds us that reaching for the unknown is part of who we are. Voyager 2 is our legacy, a whisper of our existence, traveling forever into the cosmic night. Its journey is a testament to what humanity can achieve together, and as long as it sails on, so does our story.